Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> it's a beautiful afternoon. It's a great evening. And we are here hanging out in the kitchen of, in Yadabelli's kitchen, because we're going to make something unusual today. Something very, very unusual. Good afternoon to you. Big up on yourself. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Joshua, you just got a notification. Good evening. Prayer kid, big up yourself, youth. Big up yourself. Yeah, big up yourself. Good evening to all of the folks out there. Yeah, it's one of them evening there. Well, we're doing something crazy and something different in our kitchen. It's a Tuesday afternoon and by right, we're not even supposed to be doing nothing. Yeah, but I, I, I have this epiphany, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work with changing up my diet and exploring new life and new civilization. To boldly go where no kitchen person, Jamaican person, has gone before. Tan ta da da, tan ta 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 tan ta da da. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so, what do you know about um, you know Sri Lankan food, food from the Maldives and food from India? And, you know, aside from curry, what do you know? You know, today we're gonna step out of the box, as I normally say, turn my and make fashion, travel new world. To boldly go where no one has gone before. Explore new life and new civilization. <laughs> uh, it's uh, the wife here. Uh, 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 work, I uh, work. But I am busy because I am making sure that I prepare something. Live? Yes, I'm live. Okay. Yeah, pass it close though. <laughs> uh, you know, one of the good things about where we live is that we have the option of... Um, See, your customer supposed to come any minute. It's it's on, it's after five, you know. So, yeah, we have the option of putting clothes online. Mm hmm. Like not not on the internet, uh, online like real line. <laughs> Nowadays, people not understand what it mean. Boy, prayer kid, you feel special. Are you on there, Risa Gold? Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to you. It's a beautiful evening, and thank you for joining me. All those folks who are joining me. If you love what Yadi Belly is doing, please give us a thumbs up. We appreciate love every single one of it. And it goes towards optimizing my video. All right, I'm going to get right into it because this is not a long video at all. This is not one of those evenings that you're going to take long. But all right, in Jamaica, we, we have, a, 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 we have a, 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 a knack for making condiments. We like making little condiments, little things that little um, dishes that go with the food. It's like an accompaniment to the food. It's like, for instance, we make salmon grundy. That's a condiment in Jamaica. We make sardine choker. That's a condiment in Jamaica. Um, we, we make so many other. Francois, big up yourself. Can't stay long. Hey, big up yourself, Francois. You can always go back and watch the, the, the video because it's going to be archived. Yeah. And I and and today I want to make a well sardine choker is a is a is a, a Trinidad name but Jamaicans make sardine and crackers, you understand? And um, it's a it's a condiment. So condiments are our little side dishes that go well with whatever. Like for instance, sardine and crackers is a perfect um I am one or red herring cook up red herring or again salmon grande. I found this one that I really wanted to try. It's called sambal coconut sambal and and it's from it's from um uh 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 sri lanka you know over that side of the world but i think it it is a very good dish and i think we could try it and again it goes with everything you can't eat it with rice you can't eat it with with um dal puri you can't eat it with flatbread whatever let's see if we can turn it and make fashion now yeah turning when i make fashion also include trying some food that is not normally you know our food is not normal to us don't you think yes 
So give me a thumbs up and make could switch over and start look on the thing right now, yeah? Appreciate the thumbs up. All right, let's see what we have here. First thing I have is some crushed pepper. This pepper is not like our scotch bunny pepper. Our scotch bunny pepper is real hot. This pepper is, is the chili that the Asians use and they use it in a dry form. I got this bag um, already crushed, you know, but normally what they do is they dry it and they reconstitute it and I got this at the Asian store. Then I also got this grated coconut from my local um, West Indian store. Um, this is, is a, a, a Haitian brand, um, but it serves the purpose. You want coconut of this nature if you want greater your coconut yourself that's fine good with you that's more power to you but this is grated coconut no sugar added it's just plain grated coconut and it comes frozen so you're gonna find find this in the frozen foods section what i did was i bought this and i left it in my refrigerator all day and so you have grated coconut then the, the recipe also calls for dried fish now I would not use red herring. I may you you may can use salt fish, but the dried fish that I see them doing or using is like small anchovy sized fish. And I figured to myself, I said the dry shrimp might be able to work. And you know, so we like this at Jamaica. We have this in Jamaica. Shauna James, how you the girl? So we use this dried shrimp in a Jamaica as snacks. Um it may not look so dry out like this, but we used to it. All right, so that's the next thing. And then over here, I have one lime. I have a, a red onion. Now, they also call for what is called shallots, which is the small oblong looking onion. It's same way red, purple or whatever, but it calls for this and it calls for garlic. And also, I'm going to add a little paprika to keep the, the color because the color is important. It also calls for salt. I have some sea salt here. Now, I'm making today, just for, 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 um, for those who are just joining me, I'm making, I'm trying my hand at Sri Lankan coconut sambal. Now, coconut sambal is a condiment that is widely, widely used in Sri Lanka and in those areas of the world. And they, do, they use it as an accompaniment to basically anything, everything and anything that you're eating. I've been fascinated by the, the Indonesian types of food and that type of food from over that side of the world for a long while now and I've, I watch their, their videos constantly and so I, I saw the coconut sambal and it fascinated me and I said I have to try it because I like condiments. I really, really like condiments. Now the, the, the purple onion is very tangy, very tangy so you have to know how much you're using don't overuse because if you can't manage the tanginess um you might get yourself in a trouble all right and again this is this is may may not be a dish that you are familiar with but i figured that jamaicans would like this dish because it's coconut based and we love anything with coconut jamaicans love it may i tell you that coconut drops coconut cookie you know um, coconut water we love everything coconut i don't know why we're not making our own coconut oil and exporting it to foreign all right so what i'm doing now is pretty much just i i already clean my onion and my garlic and i'm pretty much just rough chopping them the dish in in sri lanka most of this would have been made in a mortar and pestle I have a mortar and pestle. Unfortunately, it's a wooden one, and the, the, the they really use the the met the, the um the granite one or the stone ones. That's the one that they use over there. Now I've seen where other dishes, other recipes, they use the the food processor, and so that's my intent today. Since I'm already non-authentic, you know, and uh, by by being a Jamaican, might as well me just carry it. To an easier level, I make it easy on us. So I'm using the, I'm using the food processor to, to do my dish today. All right. So the first thing you want to do is, you want to get your stuff together. All right. And I'm just pretty much sorting out myself right here. 
it's gonna be um, me and my lonesome today because the little boy I do homework and the, the wifey. Okay. You finish? I'm making coconut sambal. You gonna help me? Sure. Yeah, sure. Because you wanna know what it is. If you wanna make rice, it goes with rice, but it's it's just it's just to make. I mean, if you wanna make it dinner, that's fine. All right. No, it's like a it's like a a dip type of thing right so guys please i'm begging you a thumbs up i haven't gotten one thumbs up and i've seen so many people on on my line today all right so i'm adding my shrimp now remember the dried shrimp is to replace the dried fish all right so i'm just adding in my dried shrimp let me see if all this um i'm turning this around see it here Dry, it, it smell bad. No, man. Mm -hmm. Try it, man. It tastes good. Okay, it just smell bad, but it tastes good. Mm. Try it. Like it. Try it. It 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 tastes it tastes good. Mhm. Mm it tastes good. All right. So I'm gonna just put my shrimp in my food processor Shauna said she have always heard about it but don't know what it was Shauna you know where I try the thing Francois is just like dried pepper shrimp for choke and I'm just wanting to crush my shrimp into flakes yeah And this is exactly how they use it. Um, the shrimp, the, the, the fish rather, they make it into flakes. Now, the, the good thing about this is you don't want to add anything to this because it's going to clump up before the, sh the shrimp actually turns to flakes. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to add is I have my crushed peppers. Yeah, my crushed chili. And this is authentic Asian chili. This is not no 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 regular chili. This is the red chili from Obayaso. Yeah. I are here. That's Kino. Kino. You have to come try it. Kino afraid of new things, so now go try this. Alright, and I'm I'm gonna be careful with the chili. I'm not gonna overdo the chili because I'm not able. Beautiful, beautiful. Now is when I'm gonna add no thank you, thank you, chili. <laughs> now I'm gonna add my, my garlic and my red onion. I are good, <laughs> I am good. <laughs> Kino, you have to come try this. Kino, you have to try this with some crackers. No, no oil. Beautiful. I like what I see. That's it? Yeah. yeah. I like what I see so far. It's put, looking put good. Hot sauce. No, I'm not put the hot sauce there. I'm gonna put something else. Butter. No. No, I'm gonna put Don't put no scotch on it. <laughs> <coughs> Joshua man. Let us fight out the scotch bunny pepper sauce. Now I'm gonna put my own thing now. Josh, you're blocking the light. <laughs> now you're gonna add a scotch bunny pepper. And you need the scotch bunny pepper because the pepper is important in our life. Yeah? Good evening, natural hair dynamics. See that? Look at that. Let me just go now look into my bowl. Look at that. When me there upon road, me happy I watch. All right. <laughs> All right. So now we have to touch it up again now. Mm. 
then i'm gonna add some salt if you notice i didn't add any salt and this recipe calls for a, a little bit of salt a little a, old bay. no no i don't want no old bay i don't want to spoil up the people them thing may i put the people them thing all the people them stuff to do the thing Why are you talking? You, you, you just put this and that's not in their thing but they put pepper they put pepper hold on let me scrape down the bowl scrape down the side of the bowl it's spicy it's gonna be spicy can you pull up okay all right now let me get some stuff out of the way oh you're gonna put lime can yeah. you repeat i don't know what that what i'm talking about uh, who is that talking mommy what is she saying I don't, I don't know. She didn't hear the ingredients. She wants That's you to see. That's because she it. late. <laughs> That's because she was late. Pepper, Pepper, take it on. <clears throat> All right. So now we put that over to the side right there. And I'm not putting this onion away yet because we might need a little more. And then I'm going to open my coconut. Pack it. Your scissors right beside you. Where's the scissors? Thank you. you are you are we seeing seeing what I'm doing on the camera? If it's spicy, I'm not eating it. Who says so? Mom. That's more all the better for us. It looks like snow. Alright, Josh, you can try this now. Try the coconut and tell me if it tastes good. Mmm, coconut juice good. Tastes better than real coconut. Tastes real good. The coconut is really good, and it's and it's sweet. And this coconut is it's originally from Colombia. Yeah. So now you want to take your sambal mixture. Where's the? Pass it for me. And you want to dump your sambal mixture into your coconut. So immediately what you're going to get is that sweet and salty type of mixture with that spice. And that little fishy aftertaste based on the, um, the shrimp. And of course, you know, I'm just trying this my, for the first time. So guys, I do hope that we have somebody from... Sri Lanka coming on and, and, and can um, validate me, you know, or somebody who has done this before to validate what I'm doing. Good evening, Myrna Andrews. Hi, Myrna. Good evening to you. We are making sambal. And I just prom I, I promise you guys, I feel in my heart that this is something that Caribbean and Jamaican people in general will love. I just feel it. I don't know why, but I just feel it. And then you want to mix. And this mixture is, this is going to be a, a good one because you want to get all these ingredients properly. No, not really. I just, you just need to add more stuff because you're going to eat it. Now. It's going to run too fast. And, and this, this is the amount for one serving based on what I saw. You know? And if it's spicy, you don't want to put too much I may have to put a little bit more red onion but this is the this is how it looks and then you you add some paprika and the paprika is what's gonna give it that really brilliant red color you want to try it now grab a grab a spoon And you mix it thoroughly because you don't want to get any clump of just the seasoning. You want to make sure that you're getting both seasoning and mixture and coconut together. And it's supposed to be dry. It's not supposed to be wet. All right. A little bit more paprika. I 
I was looking for my cayenne, if I have any. I don't see my cayenne pepper, so. Thank you. And this is where you're gonna taste it now. How do you store it and then how long can it be stored? Yeah, try it now. Answer the question. Wait. Do it. Do it. He's not gonna like it. It's good, right? It's okay. Guys, I can tell you from now. It's good. It's real good. I don't think I need anything more to it. I'm gonna add the lime. You can eat it with bread. Mark Queen's had it with bread and with dip, whatever. Answer their question. I'm sorry, the person asked how you store it. Um, how can you store it and how long can it be stored? All right. Um, who that? Francois, when you're going to store it, you have to, you have to cook it. When you're going to store it, <laughs> you have to cook it. It, 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 it the, this is how the recipe calls for it to be stored. You take some oil and you, you put your warm the oil on the stove. And you pour this in the oil and as soon as it starts to bubble you take it off and then you can put it in a bottle and store it in your refrigerator as it is right now it will last maybe one or two days before it starts to get off to it, off pudding and so that's the, that's basically the recommendation so you take all of this dump it in some cooking oil heated oil on the stove and that's how you store it all right wait josh i'm coming Now, if you follow Asian recipes, they are they are very 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 um, detailed as to sweet and spicy, and they want sweet and salty and spicy and mild and everything mixed in one taste, and so that's why they insist on adding the lime, and I'm gonna add the lime too, and I promise you guys, my mouth is going all over the place because it don't know where to do. You know when something tastes brilliant to you, but you don't know what to do, how to accept it, because you never tasted this type of combination before. That's pretty much what's happening right here. And this is as simple as it is. This is sambal. Coconut sambal, or what is called pole. Pole sambal. And I'm, I'm exploring different tastes and different recipes, because guys, guess what? We have to turn our hands and make fashion. We have to step out our box and try new things. And I promise you guys, this with some jerk chicken, I think it would is it's a go. This with some jerk chicken are, are even better yet. Some fry fish is a go. Can you imagine if we had some fry fish to put this on top of? It would it would shell down the whole place. Because the coconut is naturally sweet. And you know coconut has that unique coconut flavor. And everything. Joshua, find something else to come put this. Um, mm -hmm. What is that? You're putting it on bread? Mm -hmm. And I want a little bit more onion. That's not been blended. So I'm going to cut some more of this onion. And just use my hands to mince it up and add it to it. Take some. Grab, grab a spoon. All right. And fold over the bread and then turn the camera on you so they see, the folks can see you actually having it. Don't take too much, don't overdo it. Next thing you know, it's too strong. I have it, and um, I have cheese. 
Input cheese too. Hey! Go on, Joshua. That looks like a bread taco. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> my boss, guys, my boss. Trap Joshua, give it the okay, my boss. Like a beige kite. It tastes like something I know, but I don't know. Like something you know, don't it? <laughs> Joshua said, "I'm good to go." <laughs> Tell the people them say recommend. No, not yet, not yet. Tell them you recommend them to try it at the in their home. I recommend you guys try it <laughs> and make it at home. It's not that hard and it only takes like 15 minutes. Yeah, for real. See, it takes 25 minutes. And I'm just cutting up my, my, um, I'm just cutting up my onions. And I'm gonna drop this in these finely diced onions. I'm gonna drop it in it and mix it around. And my sambal is, is ready. And as I said, guys, in Sri Lanka, this is accompanied, this is an accompaniment to almost every single meal. Fish, chicken, you name it. Them use the sambal on the plate. It's, you know, it's 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 like spicy, sweet, coconutty, salty. Like sushi or something like that. Yeah, like almost like meat, right? Yeah. And if you don't, if you want to go vegan, for instance, you just eliminate the shrimp. You don't have to put the shrimp in it at all, and it would be a perfect vegan meal. Eat with cheese, tastes good. <laughs> Candy, Joshua, eat out your no, cheese. No, no. <laughs> Joshua, taking out your cheese. No. Yes, I'm snitching. I don't care. I want vex. I'm snitching. If me ever trouble a cheese, it me dead. So him can't trouble it too. You understand? No, stay crazy. All right. And there you have it, my sambal coconut. Sambal. I'm just gonna plate it now, put it in a nice like a container, and and then you're good to go. And as I said, if you wanted to keep this for a longer time, you simply have to just quickly stir fry it in some hot oil. Yeah, just pour it in the hot oil and make it make the oil just just bubble up. You're gonna do that? No, because I wanna enjoy it like this. Let me find a, a nice ramekin to put this in so I can store it in my refrigerator. And I'm just gonna. Did you all around? Let me just have Sambal, when cooked, can be eaten with rice and eggs. Ooh, thank you. Who said that? Um, Myrna Andrews. Myrna, thank you so much, Myrna. Thank you. Myrna, that means so we know about the rice. thing. Yeah, you make rice, man. You make rice. In the same one, make rice. So make rice. I will go eat it with rice and egg later. Later, we we'll bang it. And what I might do with this sambal right here is tomorrow, I might just throw this in the oil and, do it and, and cook it. You understand? But for today, I know it can be eaten raw. So for today, I'm just going to pack it in to my ramekin and store this away. Yeah. Joshua is going to make rice because he wants some sambal later on. Guys, if you don't have nothing to eat in your kitchen, Jamaicans can't go hungry. Because we take from what we want and we, we put it all we want it and make it all it can happen. You understand? We, what we call it? Turn your hand and make what? Fashion. That's how we do it. Yeah. Yes. We turn your hand and make fashion. So this is the sambal. See? Put it in this and store it in my refrigerator. Mm. That's my sambal right there. Yeah. I'm going to store that in my refrigerator. 
please repeat the ingredients, sir. You have to watch the video. Not, I'm not repeating nothing. <laughs> Only for my regular listeners, I repeat the video. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, yes. You, you, you feel that way about it? In natural aerodynamics? You feel that way about it? <laughs> And I'm just gonna do a presentation with this sambal that is left. Nice like a presentation and show you how they use the sambal over there in Sri Lanka. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, all right, move them to things out of the way them don't block my presentation yeah I'm gonna get my my um, bamboo my bamboo place max yeah and and then I'm gonna get this nice plate like such yeah Focus on the plate here. Yeah. Mind make things way though. Be careful, son. Be careful. Then I'm gonna get a carrot. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Peel this carrot right quick. And this can be a nice like, afternoon snack. Or if not visitors come over, you can prepare a little semi meatless dish for them this is vegetarian because I, I, um, the shrimp in it so I can't say it's vegan but if you eliminate the shrimp it immediately becomes veganized yes it becomes veganistic hallelujah and then I'm gonna cut this hold on what is she saying We can't hear you in the studio because we're in our studio right now. I'm putting some carrot down right there, so and then. I'm grabbing my cucumbers. En ramp, I think you should try it. I promise you, you will love it. Try it. I I I, I give you this is 100 percent yardy belly endorsed. Yeah, the sambal. You need to try it in life. I give you the okay to try it. Let me see what other messages came up. Have to eliminate the shrimp for it to be vegetarian too. No, sir. Me not have to eliminate the shrimp. All right. So I'm just gonna peel this because, guys, when you get your these um cucumbers, these big ones, they put wax on them. So you want to peel it, you know, as much as possible. You wash it and all of that, but at the same time, me not really want me not trust the wax thing. So I'm gonna peel it. But you notice me leave it like greeny, greeny. Yeah. And you just put down your yes man all this look all this look you looking good joshua mash up the kitchen everything you mash up in here because of joshua all right so i'm gonna put one set over there so put our next set over this side yes 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 i like it i like it so far i like it like that um, uh, um, um, mm, 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 mm,
coming guys are coming beautiful beautiful and as i said you can enjoy this with crackers too yeah How this look guys how it look look like something i go on like something i keep wow josh look at my dish it looks good right yes. and i'm just gonna take a couple slices of this onion right here I feel good about this sambal thing right now. I really do. I really do. Let me clear the table. Just a little bit more paprika. And a little bit more of the crushed red pepper. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? See there guys, see there guys, tell me how it look. I am so grateful for you guys to be on right now to experience this awesome dish. Oh look, look good. I don't get one thumbs up. You can't believe what the people that mean with them thumbs up. Can you please give me a thumbs up, guys? Eh? Beg on a thumbs up. Me a big thumbs up in a life. Me a big thumbs up in a life. Big thumbs up in a life. Anyway. Oh, like. Yeah, give me a like. Not thumbs up. Like. How it look, guys? I'm so happy about it. I feel good about it. The wifey should have been here to take a photo of this for our Instagram. But I tell you guys, the sambal is the, the bomb. All right? And as I said, I have some here that I'm storing. And just to show you how it's stored. And then the rest of this is going to be consumed in just a little while yes yes it will most certainly it will and guys step out of the box the taste is delicious shana james promise me you're gonna try it and let me know promise me you're gonna try it and let me know you have 14 likes yeah when my page has shown me something i have none can you believe it i'm not seeing a like at all donna p how it look look good to you I gave you a like. See? My page is, is trying to rob me and tell lies on me. My page is telling me that I have no likes in life. And I, I'm so needing a like right now. Yes. Let me let me see if I can I can try. Um I don't want to disrupt the, 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 the plate no much, but Gonna put this right here. Mm -hmm. Gonna try it and make you guys, yes, yeah, see. And switch around right here. So, see with sambal here. Mm hmm. Wow. 
Wow. People. You have to try it. I've never experienced anything like this before. The wife I, I Diane. This is a beautiful, nice dish. The taste, it could have used a little bit more lime. That's what I will put. The pepper is awesome. Hit you right in the back of the throat. It is fresh to the taste. It is fresh to the taste. It is it's it's like you're it's like you're having vegetables with a meaty undertone. It, it, it you don't miss no meat when you're eating this thing. I promise you that. And I need this. Especially for the folks who have you know high blood pressure or you have um what you call it um diabetes and all them something there. You know them type of thing and you need to eat more 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 fresh fruits. I promise you. That's where you need the sambal. It is nice and it's especially good when it is cold. I don't have not tried the cooked one, but from what I've tried here, this is well worth it. And it's guess what? Josh the food lover approve. Josh the food lover approve 100%. So that means our boss, see him over there, a rice the man I cook. The man take one taste out of the food and said, Daddy, may I cook some rice? I'm mean, gonna see him back. <laughs> The man said, the man said, Daddy, I cook me a cook. cook. And me, me, the man the God, the man disappeared. Trust me. And then the coconut, remember no winner, the coconut have you get the coconut trash, which is roughish. And then it's not like you know them coconut that where people squeeze out. Cause you know say Jamaica, when you have a coconut drops on them someday, your parents squeeze out the whole of the coconut um juice out of, out of the drops. You know that. They might give you coconut drops and the coconut juice totally gone. This is real coconut juice. Fresh coconut juice. So when you when you bite into it, you're getting the fresh juice. That's the first thing that hits the back of your throat. And then all the spice that comes with it. Beautiful. Beautiful. As I said, in Sri Lanka, it is way deeper. The, the, the flavors blend better because they're using everything fresh ingredients you know and and stuff and guys i promise you if you're jamaican caribbean and you want to step out of the box consider different cultures and their way of cooking and, and the things that they do and their styles and you will always always be happy i'm gonna dive in nasty with do no longer remember if you're looking at your kitchen and you have nothing to cook turn your hand and make fashion today's presentation is coconut sambal from Sri Lanka and it is a beautiful beautiful uh, 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 adaptation of what they are used to and what they use over there in the Asian side of life try it the next step to this now is for me put my own embellishment on it so you know so I'm going to do a like jerk sambal I'm going to step up and do some different thing or some curry sambal I'm going to take it to the next level I'm sorry for them they have unleashed a monster I'm gonna go all out right now. <laughs> hey, big up on yourself, 100k. <laughs> Remember me tell you. Remember me tell you. <laughs> you know that. And when we reach 100k, we now forget the people them who they are from. Where they are 1k and 2k and 3k. We are still right in our zone, and we are doing what we have to do. And hopefully, God will extend our borders, guys. Pray for us. I, I need your prayer. Let me just put it back for myself as my day I make me use the opportunity. I need your prayers for my family. For Joshua. If you want to. He has just been offered um, a summer program, an invite to a college in Virginia. In Virginia. Um, that he really wants to go to do this program on um where you call it. Um game gaming game creation his thing you know the thing that he loves um the expense of it is way out of our league but god is a good god so i told him you know what to do first thing start by praying 
And if this is God's will for you, God will make it happen. But you have to step out and, and know how to pray. Seek after God and God will do something for you. He has a, a very limited deadline in which to apply or to accept the invitation. So just pray for him. Because this is how we experience God through faith and God revealing himself to us through our circumstances. Abraham never knew God and then a circumstance reached Abraham and he knew God. Moses never knew God and a situation reached Moses and him knew God. Joseph never knew God and a situation reached Joseph and he knew God. David out in the field I take care of sheep. He never have no king aspirations. But God meet with him and David become a king. So for every one of us to reach to our destiny, to reach to that place that we, we are living our best life, it is through an experience with God. And so I hope that in these situation that is facing my son, he will grow and learn to trust God and have faith in God. So pray for us. Pray for him. Pray that God extend our borders like Jabez and enlarge our territories so that we can do more things, do better things, do greater things, give them more food, be more experimental. You know, food budget is big, but you know, the pocket small for now, for now, until God ex ex establishes us. So, with that being said, have yourself an awesome day. Big up on yourself. <laughs> Over there, the rice I kill him. <laughs> Nadine Johnson, how you do, girl? <laughs> Bless up a long time. You know, Nadine, Nadine, you have been miss. You have been MIA. I don't know Miami, eh? <laughs> All right, let me just show you right quick what we did today, Nadine. This is a crazy dish. It's called. It is called coconut sambal, and you have to rewatch the video to get the whole gist of it. But I sure do hope you watch it because you're gonna love it. You're gonna enjoy it, all right? Manners and respect to God be the glory. Big up on yourself, and just have a good evening. A Tuesday, no? Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. Yes, sir. Follow Yard the Belly on the stories. Click on the stories. Go on Instagram and follow Yard the Belly TV on Instagram, and uh, Josh the Food Lover on Instagram. And one true natural on Instagram, that's the wifey. And just keep abreast with what we are doing. Click the bell icon if you're on and you have not spoken to me before. I appreciate you being on and respect you for watching. And we do hope that you enjoy what we do. We're, we're stepping it up a notch, taking Jamaican food and Caribbean food to the next level. Watch your belly TV every time we're on and be entertained. All right, remember, live and laugh, cook and eat. A member. Turn your hand and turn fashion. Yeah, turn your hand and make fashion. Big up on yourself. Swing, 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 swing. Sambal is for eating. No, that's all like Doppy Show. May I, may I stop singing? <laughs> <laughs> I saw.